Hello students, when we study chemistry, we come across so many concepts. One of the basic concepts which we need to understand is mole concept. To understand mole concept, we need to first understand what a mole is. For that, let us take an example. If I am having 12 eggs and 24 bananas, what I can say? I can say that I am having one dozen eggs and two dozen bananas. That means I am saying 12 units as one dozen. Similarly, in chemistry as well, to some x units, we gave a name mole. This x unit is equal to 6.022 into 10 to the power of 23 or Avogadro's number. This is a huge number, making it difficult to calculate. So, to facilitate the same, mole concept was introduced. Before learning mole concept, let us see the different means by which we can express mole. MOL Mole For atomic sample, gram atom or G atom. For molecular sample, gram molecule or G molecule. Mole concept can be easily remembered by a simple relation, that is, one mole is equal to molar mass, which is equated with Avogadro's number. 6.022 into 10 to the power of 23, which also corresponds to 22.4 litre of gas at STP, standard temperature and pressure. Mole can be defined as the amount of substance comprising the same number of fundamental entities as the number of atoms present in a pure sample of C12 carbon, weighing exactly 12 grams. Now, if we see the mass of a sample, which holds 6.022 into 10 to the power of 23 carbon in it. The weight is 12 grams, which means 1 mole is nothing but the amount that has an Avogadro number of particles in it. Let us now define all the terms which are there in the above relation. Molar mass, the mass of 1 mole of a substance, is defined as the molar mass of a substance. This is different from the molecular mass of a substance. The SI unit of molar mass is kilogram per mole. In chemistry, we use gram per mole. Avogadro's number, number of units in one mole of any substance, equal to 6.022 into 10 to the power of 23. The units may be any chemical entity, like electrons, atoms, ions, or molecules, etc. Depending on the nature of the substance, it is represented by Na. Last is the volume term, which defined only for gaseous sample. 22.4 liters of gas at STP. STP is standard temperature and pressure. The temperature is defined as 0 degree Celsius or 273 Kelvin, while pressure is one atmospheric pressure. Let us now see how to derive the formula from the given relation. 1 mole is equal to the molar mass of the substances. Now if x gram of substance is taken, then number of moles will be obtained by cross multiplication. We get x into 1 divided by molar mass, which is equal to n number of moles. Similarly, number of moles in terms of number of particles, n is equal to number of particles divided by Avogadro's number. Likewise, for gaseous sample, in terms of volume n, is equal to volume obtained at STP in litre, divided by 22.4 litre. Let us summarize. Mole is the amount of substance, comprising the same number of fundamental entities, as the number of atoms present in a pure sample of C12 carbon weighing exactly 12 grams. Mole concept can be explained as one mole being equal to molar mass, which is equated with Avogadro's number 6.022 into 10 to the power of 23, which also corresponds to 22.4 litre of gas at STP, standard temperature and pressure. Lastly, we saw the different formulae. N is equal to mass by molar mass. Next one is, N is equal to number of particles by Avogadro's number.
Lastly, N is equal to volume of gaseous sample obtained at STP in litre divided by 22.4 in litre.